Hi guys, it's me Karen and I'm going to do a flip through of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly by Joanna Basford. It's a magical tale to color <laughs> and the cover is just absolutely gorgeous. And we will open it up. Now I know a lot of you have probably already seen this book. It's been out for a while, but this is the first time I've actually looked at it or had it in my little mitts. So <laughs> I'm going to do a flip through. And if you've already seen it, um, this might refresh your memory of it if you haven't owned it already. And if you have, well, this would look like before you colored in it. <laughs> this is a... Um, a book that she has also written a story in. So this is the introduction page and she explains it all and this of course is the book belongs to page. A nice little picture to start with and then you have all the space to do a background if you wish. And then we get introduced to Ivy here and then all her inspiration and imagination that goes throughout the book. The pictures are going to have either a lot of detail or not so much detail, depending on the page you're doing. So we have double spreads and we have single pieces that might be a little more simple. So it's got a little bit of everything for everybody in here, along with the story. So when you're done coloring it, it would be a wonderful story to read to you either your child, your grandchild, or just a youngin' in the neighborhood. <laughs> Not the keyhole here. The paper here, again, is nice cardstock. A butterfly that uh, all of Joanna Bassford books are done in. Nice and sturdy. So you can use your wet mediums, um, like watercolors, or your fine tip markers, gel pens. If you're going to use Copic markers or any alcohol markers, I would um, <laughs> tell you that it will bleed through. You might want to pick your page that you want to color in that medium. So the page behind it will get bleed through on it. You want to be careful. What I'm trying to say is if you're going to use your alcohol markers, the page back here, you're going to see it. So, and you can use them as long as you don't mind <laughs> that part of the book. Love that little bee. Iridescent watercolor on his wings is going to look adorable. Uh, I've been bending this book, so I did a little <laughs> bit of a damage there, but stay open for me when I color this. Beautiful double spread. And then like this one here, the lines aren't quite absolutely perfect. Just take a fine liner and draw that one a little thicker and it'll look absolutely perfect. And color it in. This will be really pretty with a distressing background. <laughs> anyway, I love this little mouse down here. She's drying off the leaves. <laughs> it's adorable. And then of course we have another little spread. And I love all the frameworks they did on this. And then of course you have your little bits in here too. So you could take and color one piece at a time. One in every day if you like. And then do a background on it. Make it a little easier. The little fish and the little bird down here, little mouse in the boat. These are like, uh, to me, they're houses on the water and they're up on stilts. Cute little tiny details like the little water jugs here. Little rubber ducky. <laughs> Adorable. Another beautiful frame. And then this page here. All those things to color. Just gorgeous work in here. All the gems in this one. And then, of course, we have our friendly crow here, or magpie. And he owns his own shop. Which is cool. And we're coming into 
Dragons and Castle area. We have mushroom houses. Their doorbell handle chimneys. Some elves. The moon. Then we have this beautiful laying down of food, or like a picnic in the forest. Which is absolutely adorable. I love all these frames that go around the words. A couple of dragons down here. This is like a coat of arms. Flowers here. Cute little griffin here. We have a little bee. And then a whole slug of blue <laughs> little bees. A honeycomb in the background there would be really pretty. I wasn't out of frame. I tried to do this video a couple times. I have a new microphone and I am trying to get used to it. This reminds me of the quilt, all the little panels. And I would do one, you know, make it easy on yourself. Do one at a time. Little owl here, little mouse, then the little fireflies in jars, the gorgeous chandelier, and the treasure room, the treasure chest of all the gems and the gold pieces, and we have our king dragon, he looks like he's uh, barbecuing himself up a steak there. Oh, that's so pretty with the danglings. We have butterflies here as a frame. Another dragon family. Tiny little house and all those flowers. It's just really pretty. We have the heart and another gorgeous framed area here. This one also floats across the pages, which is absolutely beautiful. Butterflies. Something for everybody to color in this book, which is really, really nice. Another panel piece. The king dragon here. These guys just crack me up. They are so cute. And then we have the whole family here. A couple of butterflies. Getting towards the end of the book. A little note here. And some ivy frame here, and a lot of little trinkets to color in. Here we have a tea party going on top of a mushroom. That is just one really pretty page, along with this one. And then the end of the book. And at the end, she has the uh, test pages you can try your medias on. One on both sides. And then, of course, the back page is also loaded with a bunch of flowers you can color and her books that she has out, and then the back of the book. And that is the flip through of Ivy and the Inky Butterfly. Hope you all enjoyed, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care, everyone, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.